Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are all doing super well. It has been raining, it had been raining the last two days, so it's been miserable. But today the sun is out, so I'm in a really good mood. Um, so I thought I'd start a vlog. I'm actually gonna film the whole vlog today. I'm hoping when I get it done today because we're actually leaving tonight, um, which I'll explain in a second. But in this vlog, I'm gonna do three Ps, which is like something I just realized. It was a coincidence while I was trying to figure out what order I was going to film things in. I'm going to do plants, Prada, and packing. Um, I had two requests to do plant kind of update. We'll introduce my plants. I know if you guys have seen my moving in vlog, you guys would have seen a lot of the plants. But um, half of them have died because I couldn't keep them alive. And the other half are still here and, you know, there's some new ones. So I thought I would reintroduce the new ones. Um, oh, and well, not just the new ones, but all of them. And then I want to do, I also got a request to do um, a Prada collection. Um, I don't shop a lot of Prada, so it is small enough to fit in this vlog. And then at the end, I'm going to do packing and I'll explain the packing later. So we're going to do the plants first. So actually, Conrad very kindly downloaded an app. <clears throat> Um, I'll have to put on the screen what the app is called. It might be called Smart Plant. But he downloaded an app and found the names of all of my plants for me because I don't know the scientific name. And I, I don't know. I didn't want to turn on the camera and be like, this plant, this plant. I wanted to actually be able to put a name on the screen. So um, first one is living here at the moment because I'm trying to get optimal sun, which is working because look, at the little baby leaves growing in there. I do have um, a little mushroom in there. They're just little like plant decorations. And then there's a little um, ladybug there. Unfortunately, the flowers have dried out at this point, but they were really pink, they were really pink and pretty. Um, usually we just cut it off and they'll regrow anyway, so we'll probably have to do that soon. Then on my bar, first of all, we have this flower that I got at m &S not too long ago. And look how stunning. I'm really hoping they dry nicely because um, I kind of want to keep these like on my fire mantle with like the rest of my dried flowers. So we'll see. It's been like almost a week now and it's still looking pretty good. Still looking the same as it was when I bought it. Just a little bit more like closed up a little bit, I guess. Anyways, back to the plants. This is not my plant. Oops, it's not focusing. This is actually Nicolina's plant. Um, when she stayed with me, she brought her plant over and she still hasn't brought it back home yet. <laughs> so it's still here. This is a relatively new plant. It's actually really easy to take care of. I thought this would be a really difficult plant. Both this and this has been very easy to take care of. Um, look how much is growing in. This is a very alive plant, by the way, guys. Like this moves. When you if you if I have if I move this, if I move this like that. <laughs> I come back in 30 minutes, like all the leaves would have, or the stems would have moved that way. They always want to reach for the light. Oh, as you guys can see, clearly they're trying to reach for the light now. So it's a little bit scary sometimes, especially because they look like they have googly arms, but I love this plant. I think it's super fun. I have another ladybug in there and some um, caterpillars. I just love how the leaves are all little heart shapes. That's why I got this plant. It's purple on the inside. How pretty. And then in this little corner um, by the window, we have our little plant um, hospital, basically. Um, ignore that one. That one is for Conrad's sister, but these two um, are just not doing very well. This was okay for a while, but I don't know what happened. We had to cut all the dead flowers off. I'll pop in pictures of what they're supposed to look like. At least the leaves look okay. And you can see there's a little bit of blooming going on. The flowers are coming through a little bit, but this one, everything is gone except this one leaf, which is really, really sad. So I'm super proud of this plant. Um, this has been here since I moved in. If you guys seen my earlier vlogs, you would have seen this was kind of hanging like up to here. Now look how long it's grown. Yeah, I think it's so beautiful and I can't wait for it to be like a full curtain. <laughs> and um, covering my shelves that I put my tableware on. I just really like this kind of vibe. Anyways, yeah, besides that, I just kind of take off the dead leaves once in a while, but super easy plant to take care of. I'm gonna bring this plant down so you guys can see better, but this plant um, has been pretty tricky to take care of 
I don't think it's supposed to be, but I just couldn't find a good place um, in my home that the plant was happy with. Just felt like the leaves just always looked quite sad. So since I've moved it up there, it's been a lot better, especially since we've also been really good at feeding all the plants now. Um, this is the one that we've used. Um, I don't really have a review on plant food quite yet. I've only used that one and it seems to be working because look, one, two, three, four, these are five new leaves and they look so beautiful and yeah, less sad than these ones, basically. Obviously, I know once they get bigger and older and whatnot, obviously it's just gonna start doing that, but you guys should have seen this plant before. It just looks sad even when it was like a baby leaf. And yeah, I'm just really happy it's looking great now. So this is another plant that I bought pretty much right when I moved in and it's doing super well. I love how it's growing. I love the shape of this plant so far. I just, I don't know, I'm just really obsessed with this plant. I think it's really beautiful. Oh, the little baby leaves coming through is so cute. I really honestly can sit for hours just like stroking the baby leaves, making sure that they come out and grow okay. <laughs> so this is my newest baby. I bought her a couple weeks ago and oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. She's already got two new leaves. Um, or three actually. I think that one might be new as well, but I don't know what's going on here I don't know what caused these marks. Did I accidentally like scratch them? I'm not really sure But the rest look okay But the stems the stems guys. This is so stunning. Here. We have a really cute little plant um, On my coffee table. I love the texture of the leaf and the color. I love the purple stems along with like the yellow um, uh, pot, which I just really like the contrasting color. So this corner actually has the last four plants in my flat. Um, this one is a Monstera plant, and I've had this since I moved in here. I don't know if you guys can recognize it. It has grown so freaking much to a point where I'm like, okay, it needs to stop growing. I don't want it to be much bigger than it is. This plant down here is looking really sad. I'm really upset because I do love this plant. And again, this is one of the plants I bought when I first moved in. When I first moved in, I had it right there um, on that side of the fireplace, and it was doing really well there. Then I moved it to that side, and it did not love it there. So now I've moved it here to be near to the light to hopefully help um, with that, basically. Um, I know I can always move it back there, but I don't know. I'll leave it here for a little bit. If it doesn't end up working here as well, I'll move it to the right side of the fireplace again. But I would really, I really hope it looks, it will. Um, do well here because it just looks really good here with my little elephant and stuff and the other plants so so this plant is actually from Conrad's parents garden <laughs> um, they have a lot of these in their garden so his mom took some clippings of it and gave us a little one and like I showed you earlier one for um, his sister as well I don't actually know very much about this plant but by the looks of it and how we've had it so far I feel like this is one of those like bulletproof plants that just like won't die even if you like forget to water it'll be fine so yeah it's a really good plant to have if you want something that won't die <laughs> this one on the other hand another easy plant to take care of in terms of the leaves in terms of getting the flowers to grow that's another story i finally have another one here i basically had like one flower this entire time and then one more finally came through more recently and then this one is slowly coming through um, and then there's just like a lot, little baby leaf there. Oh my god, so cute. This one is a new leaf as well. So precious. I love when they're shiny. They just look so delicate. But yeah. This is like a really random detail, but I love how this plant has grown because the leaves kind of frame the frog in there. I really like that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do my Prada collection. And this is gonna be a bit different than how I usually do it. Um, I have laid all of my Prada out on the bench and as you can see, hanging around. And I'm just gonna go around and show you guys my collection just because, like I said, I don't shop too much Prada so I don't have a massive, massive collection. Um, still some cool pieces so it's fun to show. But um, I'm just gonna start with, I guess, the ready to wear because this one is hanging here. 
This is a dress that I got, oh my god, several years ago. I bought this when I went to, um, where is it? Cinque Terre for the first time. Honestly, this looks massive, although it is a size 36. But I remember trying it on and knowing it was too big, but they didn't have my size. I didn't care because I just really, really loved it. I believe it was on sale. That's why I was like, oh my gosh, I just want this dress. It's so cute. I love the illustrations on it. You guys know how I feel about illustrations, anything with fun um, drawings I'm like really drawn to. Okay, so I actually just quickly unbuttoned it because I wanted to see what the inside was like. Just because I've always just worn this as a dress. I never really like thought about it, but I was just kind of looking at it now and I'm like, this is interesting how they have like buttons throughout it. And I think it would have been so much more cooler if they made this skirt detachable because if they have this like um, button all throughout Maybe you can like unbutton the skirt and then just have a shirt. How cool would have that been? Um, also comes with a little belt, which helps a lot cinch everything in because this is a little bit oversized for me. But yeah, I just love the print of this dress. Very like, reminds me of like Popeye and um, what's her name? Olive? O o Olivia? No, just Olive, right? Yeah. So I've been trying to rack my brain to remember where I bought this. Um, I can't seem to remember. It's either Designer Exchange or I got it at a stylist's um, archive sale, which I used to go to when I first moved to London. Um, I used to be more like, I, like, I had friends who knew when they had, when there were gonna be stylist sales and whatnot, and I loved going to them because obviously they have the coolest archive um, and great deals, so great prices. But yeah, I just can't remember. It's one or the other. But obviously I got it because I love denim jackets. They're my favorite layering pieces for the autumn time. As well as the winter time, if it's cooler in the evening time, denim jacket is my favorite to just throw over. This is a cropped one. Um, it's a darker denim than the rest of the denim that I usually wear and have. So it's good to have that option. Of course, love this collar detail as well. So yeah, just a really nice um, staple. At the bottom of it here, we have a top. I, oh, well, you guys might recognize it from my Bister Village haul. I um, bought this in Bister Village. Just love the print, obviously, very 70s print and the color. This is great for wearing on its own as a statement piece. It's also good to keep underneath with maybe like a, some kind of um, knit over it with the arms exposed and the, and the neck exposed, that can be cute. So yeah, with this, sorry guys. So yeah, with this kind of print, it's just gonna be really easy and fun to style with other things, which is why I got it basically. Okay, okay, so excuse me, these both need steaming, but I love these both. These are probably my two favorite Prada ready to wear pieces that I own. I love this little bow detail there, very Prada. The satin green is stunning and very on a season. Um, I also love this little Prada logo thing here. I feel like anything with this little logo is a hit with Prada, like on their bucket hats and whatnot. Um, so I just felt something in there, but it's just the little extras for it. I love the back of this as well. It's all buttoned. They're like snap closures, which is fun. It's buttons all the way to the bottom. But yeah, I just love this really, really classic kind of Prada top. Um, I got it oversized so I can, it's more like a, when I wear shorts, it just covers my shorts a bit. It's like an oversized tunic kind of situation. And then this one is from the men's. Um, this is my favorite one that came out. This really does need <laughs> um, steaming, sorry guys. But yeah, this is, I know that the they do a lot of like similar, just the same style, just different prints. Um, I haven't really seen one that I liked after this one. To me, this looks like Cleopatra and Elvis. I've heard other things. Um, regardless, my favorite part about this is the color combination. Another Bister Village find, um, and I definitely share this in a haul. Just love this little body, really great with shorts. Um, with high-waisted shorts and yeah, just a simple body basically. I love this kind of like Kim Possible vibe with this situation going on. <laughs> the last ready-to-wear piece is this really gorgeous, delicate top um, with this amazing beading. 
I'm just so obsessed with the top. I'm actually really gutted I didn't get the matching skirt. I believe there was a skirt that was going with it, but at the time I only really liked the top. Now thinking back, it would have been so cool to have like the full outfit, but yeah, it's just so stunning, very flattering, and yeah, I absolutely love the color combination, and I don't see this going out of style to be honest. Um, it's not very like obviously a, a particular season in my opinion. Um, I just think, yeah, it's a really beautiful, easy to wear top. Okay, we're gonna move on to the bench where I've laid out all the accessories. I'm gonna start with my gloves that I got from Bister. I've also shared this in that haul. Um, I actually only got to wear this twice um, last Christmas with the Christmas I bought this. It is a bit of a statement, obviously. When I bought it, I knew I wasn't gonna wear it like an everyday accessory. Definitely a statement. Um, I got it for like under 100, which was amazing as well. So yeah, really happy. They're just so beautiful. I got two hats here. This one's actually from the men's section. They had like a bit of a pop-up where they sold like, I don't even know what the pop-up was for, but they sold a couple things at the pop-up. One of them being this hat and the other being this water bottle, which I also bought from that pop-up. And then I got a couple more for gifts because I thought they were great birthday presents slash Christmas presents. And I bought one for myself, of course. <laughs> Also, I got this little notebook because I am a sucker for stationery, and they just had it there, and I was like, why not? Again, I also bought a couple of these for gifts as well. But back to the hats. I love this little fisherman's hat. I love that there's like, it, there's a bit that kind of hangs around like the bottom of your neck. Um, I think they only had it in the black, but yeah, I love it. And a lot of people had the bucket hat version with this like kind of logo on it. Didn't really want to do what everyone was getting so I got this kind of this hat instead of the bucket hat don't get me wrong I have plenty of bucket hats I love bucket hats too um this one actually got the same time I got this top from the same collection it's a little bigger boy's hat um annoyed because I did see this at Bistro for like I don't know 60% off <laughs> and I paid full price for this um which is fine I love it so much you guys know I like to collect really cool, funky hats that really, really are loud and make a statement, and this is definitely one of them. <laughs> so as far as bags go, I believe these are the only three Pada bags that I've ever bought or owned. I could be forgetting something in Vietnam, but I, I don't, I really don't think so. Um, of course, I have the re-edition of the Prada nylon bag. Love this. I actually wanna get the mini version as well with the longer chain um, soon, so whenever, I see that I'll probably get it. I just haven't decided on color yet. And then I have this, which I love. I love the flame. I love anything that Prada did with the flames. I think that was really, really cool. So I have this little pouch, which is a really good for the beach as well. Um, I kind of usually just keep my camera and like stuff that I don't want to get wet in there. And then I have this cutie, which is probably the only bag that I like really lusted over from Prada when I first saw it. I just thought it was beautiful, of course, because of the stars and moons. You guys know how I feel about those motifs. Um, actually, really funny, well not funny, really random story with this one. Um, the, the sales associate who helped me or sold this bag to me ended up asking me on a date afterwards, actually. Well, not while I was shopping, but he messaged me and asked me on a date. And he actually bought me like a Prada keychain um, on that first date, which is pretty, <laughs> pretty extra, pretty much. It was really generous of him, but anyways, um, obviously it's not Conrad, I'm talking about someone else, but, um, yeah, that was, that was that. I don't have the keychain with me. I think I left that one in Vietnam, but onto the sunglasses. Um, these are most of my Prada sunglasses. I believe I have one or two pair back in Hanoi. I definitely have the round, the big round uh, ones with the Baroque sides, those are really, really popular. I have those back in Vietnam, I never got rid of them because I just love those for archive. These are my favorites, and these are probably also my first pair. This one and the Baroque style round ones I was just talking about were my first Prada Sunnies, I believe, and they are still my favorite, honestly. How beautiful is this? The Flame Sunnies are probably my second favorite in my collection. I love these. I got these um, right before going to LA because all these were great LA vibe sunnies. <laughs> actually, Kyle reminded me that these would be really good LA vibe sunnies. And then I actually got this in New York. I bought it at TJ Maxx, I think is what they call them, because it reminds me of a New York taxi. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah <laughs> and then there the rest i won't speak too much about because i've done a sunglasses collection and then the last few little accessories i have two of their headbands one is plain and one has the little prada logo on it um i've actually used the green one a little bit more than i've used the red one um i think mostly because of the color i think the green one was just like more subtle and easier to style with than that one but of course that one has a little logo so it's really cute as well and then the last thing that i have from Pro oh actually i have some shoes i'll pop some pictures in they're both in vietnam they're the same style but besides that i have um this little wallet which has little elephants on it not wallet sorry card holder which has little elephants all over it super freaking cute of course i had to have that Okay, so in the beginning of this video, I mentioned that I will end it with some packing. And long story short, Conrad and I are both going away this evening. We're actually going to be going to Italy. I am so excited. That's why I've been smiling and just in a good mood all day. Um, I'm just so excited, guys. I was checking my um, travel log because I have to keep a travel log for my visa. Um, for my UK visa and I realized that I have I left every single month in the last two years when I was living in the UK I thought that I left like every two months but every single month I went somewhere um in this month I got back in February and stayed obviously went to Ireland for a little bit but yeah most of the time we were here and then our staycations around England and whatnot um so it's just obviously COVID and don't get me wrong this is a pandemic we are going through something we need to we need to focus on fixing that totally get it um we've got priorities and stuff but it but we can still admit that it does affect our livelihood and like most people traveling is my livelihood um experiencing new things seeing new places seeing pretty things being around new people being around people i love those that's my livelihood basically um but yeah don't get me wrong first world problem not being able to travel whatnot that's not the issue but I've missed it <laughs> and I'm just so excited. So we were actually driving to Italy as opposed to taking a flight because we just both feel much safer that way. We actually did like a, we did a COVID check just to, just for peace of mind. Um, obviously that's when we got tested. It doesn't mean we can't catch it the next day or the next day after or whenever. So it's really, I don't even know what the point was doing that, of doing that was because neither of us really had symptoms. We just did it just for the peace of mind. But what else? Yeah, so back to the driving in part. We really wanted to drive in because one, we just feel safer not having to go to the airport or being on the airplane, breathing everybody's air. At least in the car, we're, it's private. It's just us two. Also, we read online that um, when we're on the train from England to mainland Europe, you can't actually you can't actually get out of the car anyway. You have to stay in the car. It's like a 20 to 30 minute drive. Any, um train ride anyway so that's that's really nice we won't be interacting with anybody um obviously i'm sure there's like border checks some check that's kind of like the one thing to worry about like when when it comes to being in contact with other people as far as gas stations go we were bringing gloves we got masks i think that's safe um another really good reason of taking in the car is the fact that we can just drive back whenever we want to if we feel like something you know stuff's hitting the fan we need to get back as soon as possible we're not feeling comfortable we can just up and leave we can pack our bags um drive back obviously it's a longer drive it's not <laughs> it's a long drive but um like i said we're, dra we're, tra we're driving no more than three to five hours a day um when we we're in italy so it's not it's not too bad oh yeah another thing is we've chosen to stay in airbnbs most of the trip um if we couldn't find something that we really liked we did go with a hotel but majority of the trip i'm thinking only one night we're at a hotel the rest of the trip we're in airbnb just because again it's a lot more tourists in a hotel than there is like just one like obviously someone else must, might have stayed in the airbnb before us but it should have been cleaned and then it's just us no one touches that place um until we leave so we like that idea too so yeah that's pretty much our plan okay so i have a bunch of little sections um, that I've laid out like the first edit of what I want to bring. So these are the bags I'm thinking of bringing with me. And then I'm going to pick out some hats. Um, I need to go through it with you guys and kind of really pick out what I want to bring. Because this is obviously way too much. Um, this beach bag is a heck yes. I'm bringing this with me because obviously that is my beach bag. As well as my um, book tote that is like my travel bag. Um, it's got my camera in it. 
passport and whatnot, so that's coming with me. I definitely want to bring this because I really want to use it. I think it's a really cute little summer bag, and I think it will look cute over bikinis and swimwear as well, so I'll bring that with me. Um, I don't think I'll bring this one just because I've worn this so much to the beach already, and there's some other ones I want to use. Um, also, I feel like this looks better in south of France than it would in Italy. No, like south of France beach vibe, which is where I bought this to last time. And then I actually bought this over just from now. This and the hat and this hat I just brought over from my Prada collection. I didn't plan on bringing this with me, but I feel like I am going to now just because I haven't had the chance to use this quite yet. I think I've used it once in Malta, so I should try and get more use out of this. I think I will bring this one as well, my little Nano in the white multicolor. Um, this is not the original dust bag for it, obviously. I got this second hand. It didn't come with a dust bag, so I just like got one of my own that I had. This is for a pair of shoes though. But anyways, yeah, I think this would be really cute. I haven't had the chance to wear this, use this yet, so I think this will be my chance to. A lot of really teeny bags at the moment. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my baguette. I'm gonna bring my baguette. Yeah, I'm gonna bring my baguette. And then we have these four. I'm thinking I won't bring this one. My little vintage Jackie, Jackie O bag. Love the color though. Um, I don't think I'll bring this one. And I don't think I'll bring this one either just because I'm not gonna bring the heels to match with this. Um, so there's no point in bringing this back, even though obviously this will go with other things. I think I might have to bring these two though. Sorry, I don't know what that is. It's just wrapping. Um, I think I might have to end up bringing these two. This is super thin anyway, it won't take much space. Another good thing about traveling in a car is you know, you're not really limited to luggage weight or size. Well, I mean, you are like depending on how big a car is, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and I want to bring at least one classic flap with me. So I think I'm doing these bags, which is still quite a few. I've only edited out three. So I've only edited out these three bags. I'm going to bring the rest with me. I think that's fine to be honest. They're all quite small and flat and only these two are bulky. As far as hats go, um, oh yeah, I'm also bringing this, I'm gonna put all my bags in there by the way. Um, I brought my Miu Miu little visor out, considering bringing that. And then I also brought over the little Prada fisherman hat. Mm, I don't know. A couple bucket hats. Um, Definitely want to bring a Gucci one, maybe. I think I'll leave the little Dior Oblique one this time. I really like this Fiorucci one, so I might bring the Fiorucci one. Um, so maybe this one, this one, um, one of these. Maybe I'll go with that one. Do I need this one with me? Maybe not this trip. So these are actually Conrad's. Um, He's bringing these with him. He loves his caps. They're both by Stussy. This is an older one. This one I bought him recently after our trip to Ireland. I thought it was a really... I actually saw it in his basket. Um, and I was ordering something, so I just added it into my basket and ordered it because I thought it was a really, really cute little after our post-Ireland gift kind of thing. So anyway, so he's bringing those two with him. Yeah. Okay guys, excuse my bed. The bedding and stuff is in the wash and all. But I've laid out all my accessories on the bed here. When it comes to sunglasses, I am pretty certain I'm bringing all of them. I've already narrowed it as down as I can. Those are mine. That one is actually Conrad's. Um, he has a transparent one in the car that he likes as well. So those are the, the, those are the two that he's bringing and I'm bringing these. <laughs> I need my options. <laughs> And then accessories I will sit with you guys and do, like the jewelry wise. And this is my little Dumbo case to put the jewelry in. Let's see. <clears throat> so first off, I have these two that I got at a Taiwanese night market. Um, so yeah, just super cheap. They were just like dirt cheap jewelry, just kind of wear once or twice kind of thing. So I have this one and this kind of like waterfally one, maybe the heart one. And then, so these are the, oh yeah, and then I have my Retrofet um, initial, oop, initial earrings. So I've got my S and my W. I think I will bring both of them. Well, not both of them, but that pair. 
Um, definitely bringing these smiley faces. Um, I got these off of ASOS not too long ago. I just really love them, especially because I've got, um, well, I've got 12 piercings in total on my ear. <laughs> but um, I, I like to put this on my first and second. I know it's like a little bit like the hoops are massive, but I don't know. I like that. I like that vibe. I'll bring this as well. This is cute for the beach. It's like a little ear cuff. Um, need to bring my little Chanel CCs. These are like oversized though. That'll be fun. What else? Um, I don't think I'll bring this bracelet in the end. I thought it would be fun to accessorize with this, but I'm thinking now if I'm always going to be in tanning lotion and oil, the leather is not going to last. I think I will bring this. This is the only necklace I think I'll bring with me. Um, my little Gucci necklace that I got from Designer Treasure. Um, I don't. I'll leave these ones as well. I love them. I got this at Dover. They're so pretty. Um, there were so many different variations. I feel like each one is different. There's no identical. Guys, I'm really honestly thinking of bringing all of these and not these two. Because I honestly don't know if I can decide between the rest. I feel like, first of all, these are such staples. So this will go with anything. If I'm going to go to the beach, might as well rock some shells, right? So I've got to bring those. <laughs> I picked these ones out as well because it's Fendi and obviously Fendi is an Italian brand and there's just something super tacky um, but in the best way possible about these so I might have to bring these with me because I also don't get a chance to wear these as much. And then this pair, maybe I'll, live, I'll leave this behind then because I think that's enough. I don't know. Or just bring it, whatever. I have space. <laughs> okay. Um, already explained the sunglasses, so I'm bringing my Loewe. Um, these are some Pucci ones. These are actually from TK Maxx, so I didn't share these in my sunglasses collection video because they are relatively new. But like I said, from TK Maxx. Um, these weren't in my collection video, my sunglasses collection video either, but I shared it in a haul, the Gucci ones. These are some of her Sacha ones. Um, another pair of pink Gucci's, and then a pair of Chanel white simple kind of rectangular frames over here we have a really teeny tiny haul basically when we decided to go to italy it was pretty last minute it was a kind of spontaneous decision so um i didn't you know build up an entire holiday wardrobe or anything which is totally fine i actually shopped my own wardrobe and found a lot of cool things which i'll share in a second but i did pick up a couple things this I actually ordered like maybe three weeks ago or something um this is by Chinatown Market, which I bought from before. They kind of do these kind of, they use like branded things and they kind of make their own graphics and stuff. This one says, thanks, but I'm Gucci. And it's got some skeletons playing instrument. Um, I just thought this was like a fun t-shirt graphic tee. So I'll bring that with me um, just to have a simple graphic tee with me. Um, at Selfridges the other day, I spotted this bikini and I thought it was so freaking stunning. It's gorgeous velvet material with these embroidery details. It's very sparkly. I love the color. The coral is going to be so amazing once I'm actually tanned. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to wearing this bikini. Then I wanted to find a hat for this trip actually, for this holiday. Um, couldn't really find any straw hats that I thought was like cool, unique, or like just, you know, worth it. But then I spotted this. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it is a gorgeous light, like really light lemony yellow color. Um, and then it's got this like black ink just splashed on it. And the black ink is textured. Um, and you can see, yeah, it's textured, so it's actually kind of hard. Um, it's a really light hat, by the way. Here's the brand. Um, Ryan Hart Plank. Um, they had a couple hats and this one was my favorite one. I thought it was just so freaking cool. The hat shape is beautiful, the color is stunning, and this like splash of ink right across looks so sick. So I know this is not the most beach appropriate hat, but there's just something about it. I think with the color, I think it will work. I think it's so cool. And then lastly, I also picked up this like Versace sports bra. Um, Literally because I know this is just going to go really easily and well with shorts, any, anything high-waisted. 
Um, this is the kind of stuff I love wearing during summertime. Just anything minimal at the top and then shorts. <laughs> so this will be cute. I actually wanted to get the matching um, bottoms for this too. But, well, not the pants version, the shorts version. That's They sold out my size for that. But yeah, still think this is going to be really cute on its own. Okay, so I've done my best with lighting. And as you can see, this is where the majority of the part packing is going on. Um, where do I even start, guys? So I have laid out some clothes here that I'm going to go through and pick out with you guys. Some bikinis, shoes, and then some more clothes there. And then actually those are all Conrad's things. But um, let's go with the clothes first. <clears throat> I really want to bring this dress with me. It's a Jonathan Simkai dress. I bought this for Greece several years ago, and I haven't had a chance to wear it yet or since. Um, <clears throat> I just love it. It's so beautiful. But the only thing with this is that... I would have to fold it to pack it, and I don't know about the steam steamer situation at these Airbnbs. I'm not sure if it's going to need steaming when it comes back out. Um, so I'm still deciding with this one, but yeah, I just, I love it. Also, when I wore this, I got several people wanting to buy it off me, and this one girl was very, well, she just didn't stop. She just kept offering to buy this off me, and I don't know, guys, no is a no. <laughs> this, for sure, I'm bringing with me. It is the Zara swimsuit that I recently shared in a haul. So I'm going to make a pile here. I plan on wearing this on top of that swimsuit so that'll be cute. Um, haven't had a chance to wear this yet. This is from TK Maxx. It's a Valentino one with elephants. So I had wanted to keep this um, hopefully for more of like a safari style vacation but since that's not happening anytime soon, I'll just bring that up right now. Um, I might think about that one. I don't know, again, this is a very south of France vibe to me, not really Italy. This could be really pretty for Italy. Um, this is a Diane von Furstenberg dress that I got for Chinese New Year. Definitely want to bring this outfit with me. This is my Louis Vuitton outfit that I haven't had a chance to wear yet, so definitely for date night. Um, I have that. This one I don't think I'll bring with me. This one I will bring with me. I love this dress and thank you guys for all the wonderful compliments um, of this dress fitting me really well. Also going to bring this, um, which more people like than I thought would. I um, really want to bring this one as well. This is honestly really trash. It's from ASOS, but um, not that ASOS is trash, but the, the stress, like the material and everything about it is trash, but I love the, the the print. I love the butterfly print. Honestly, from afar, when you put it on, this dress is actually really flattering and it doesn't look bad at all. It's only when you like come super close and look at the material and look how like blurred out the butterflies are. It's not like clear. Um, Anyways, I'll bring it anyway. <laughs> Definitely bring this muscle tee from Zara. I actually got both of these yesterday. How beautiful. Another purple dress, guys. I can't get enough, but I just love um, the print on it. Anyways, um, Plum Tree on Instagram, she um, bought this and shared it with me. And I was like, oh my god, this is the most perfect t-shirt for me. So, um, had to go out and get that. So I'll bring these two with me, of course, like I said. And then I also am bringing one denim jacket just in case it gets a little chilly in the evening. You never know. So I've only really edited out this much. <laughs> really quickly on this side, I'll just share with you guys the shorts I'm bringing. I'm literally bringing way too many shorts, I know, but I am bringing a pair of um, gray biker shorts. Obviously, I need my oversized blue denim um, shorts from Arquette. I'm bringing this really gorgeous um, Chanel beach cover-up. This is really excessive. I don't need two pairs of pink shorts. Um, these are by Arquette and these are Louis Vuitton. I don't know guys, I just, I really do love these equally for different reasons. <laughs> and I'm also gonna bring this, which is an ASOS piece but it is from the men's section. Um, I just bought in the smallest size because I really liked it. Just love the illustration once again. So those are the shorts that I am bringing with me. <laughs> and then as far as shoes go, this is kind of what I have out so far. For sure, I'm bringing these with me. Um, oh, and my flip-flops. 
left but these three sandals I might just bring one and I might bring the newest pair because um, that would make sense although the thing is this I love bringing on vacation with me because this goes with literally everything but I am bringing my Chanel sandals I feel like anything that would work with that would work with these shoes as well so I might leave those I'll definitely leave these behind because again got a pink thing there and then between these two I thought I wanted like a day heel and then a night heel especially if I'm bringing my Louis Vuitton date night outfit I definitely need a pair of heels to wear with it like none of this would go with it so I'm thinking of bringing this for that because even these would look weird with that outfit so basically I'm just gonna leave these two and then I'm gonna bring these with me last little section here to look through got three towels that I'm bringing with me beach towels my Louis Vuitton one and then this one we actually bought this I don't know right when lockdown happened actually just had to lay the towels out if you guys can see properly um, they would obviously look better side to side I just don't have space but yeah so Conrad and I got these matching towels from Liberty kind of around when lockdown started so we haven't had a chance to use it yet but yeah super extra but you guys know I love beach towels like fun beach towels anyway so happy to get those and then here are the bikini options so obviously this is a beach vacation and you guys know how I feel about my bikinis so I have a lot of option um, the new ones out of the bunch are this one, this set, and this set. So this one is from ASOS, um, from two different sets though, because um, I liked the bottoms of this, not the top, and I like the top of this set and not the bottom. So I just kind of mix and match. Um, I love this green gingham. And then also this one is from H&M. They had a mix and match section as well. Um, so I got the purple bottoms and this like coral top really pretty I haven't had a chance to wear this yet but this is old this is from ASOS um, I like to mix match my swimwear so here's just some extra bottoms that I don't have matching tops for but they might go with some other bikinis or whatever this is a top shot set top shop set I got um, last time I went to south of France here we have three swimsuits we have my Louis Vuitton bikini top, then my Fendi <laughs> bikini top, bikini top, and then my Gucci like one piece. So there's that. Oh no, I'm also bringing my Chanel swimsuit, which I would have shared in my last video when I was styling this swimsuit. Yeah, I'm bringing a lot with me, guys. I love swimwear. <laughs> um, this is super special. This is a beach cover-up it's like backless it just has like a piece of string basically um that wraps around the, like your waist and the top as you can see um this actually belonged to my mom so she wore this in her i don't know 20s 30s and um yeah she's just kept it and i found it in her drawer and i took it i took it a long time ago um but i just still keep it with me here i love wearing it once in a while so i thought i'd bring that with me um, and then I'm bringing two little beach cover-ups, scarf slash sarong slash I might wear them as a tube top thing. So my Long Vent Babar Elephant one I shared in a haul and then my Versace one. I'm actually like, dis I actually was thinking if I should bring my matching dress because I have a dress that matches this exact print um, and color. But I've worn that quite a few times also in Lake Como and I think it looked really beautiful in Lake Como. So... Um, I don't know. All right, now I gotta clean this mess up. Um, it's a pit in here, but yeah, I'm gonna put away the things I'm not bringing and then pack the rest of stuff that I am bringing with me. I've got my toiletries in there as well and my makeup. And like I said, this is Conrad's things. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some of his stuff because I think he has really cool style as well. Like he likes, he's not afraid of color and print, just like me. <laughs> So this is the stuff that he's bringing with him. Okay, I've saved this one to share with you guys last because this one is extra special since this one was made at my dad's factory um, when Conrad unpacked this 
obviously he had no idea and I was like oh my god my dad made this um so that was pretty cool that he had it already but yeah besides that it's got lots of colorful shorts and some t-shirts but um I love these these are his Marnie kind of ugly sandals um this look really good on him and apparently it's really comfortable so that's good and obviously that's my pair we are definitely team ugly sandals we love them <laughs> So I forgot to end the vlog again, um, I literally just finished editing it and it is so long, it's like I think almost, I think it's 15 minutes long guys, um, so I don't blame you if you guys feel like you need to skip, I might do like a um, timestamp, anyway, besides the point, I'm making this video even longer now, clearly I'm not in, I'm not, I'm annoyed, clearly I'm not home at the moment, I'm still in Italy, we're here for two more days, next vlog will be of Italy and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please give a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it leave any comments you guys have down below I hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already and would like to come and catch with me again and until my next video I'll see you guys soon Mwah.